I represent the elements with intelligence. Circle gets down from the ground to the sky. Be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Forces of nature, elements of surprise. Be on the lookout. Uh huh. Be on the lookout. It's the earth, water, fire in the sky. Be on the lookout. The elements of surprise. It's the earth. Water, water, fire in the skies. Be on the lookout. The elements are surprise. I'm the alchemist with the twist from the true soil. Soil, 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 soil. Hey there, bonjour, bonjour. I got special guest with a special topic, and uh, I've alluded to this in a recent live stream. I have my new hip hop mix out called Alchemical Elementals, and uh, this was partly inspired by. Steven's uh, series regarding the four elements and uh, yeah, the foundation to proper education to really excel in uh, just how we can interact with the world and the, all the elements involved, whatever in between. Obviously, the main four is what's in store as far as this topic. And uh, yeah, Steven, I wanted to hit you up and uh, have you come on and yeah, like shed some uh, insightful information about uh yeah just everything involved and kind of yeah obviously what your motivation and thought process was and like foundational knowledge that you know made you want to put out that series because it's really cool and very important you know so how's it doing bro yes uh, that's good that's good uh, i'm happy to to do this video i think is important for people who want to study the occult and uh, the esoteric uh, arts. And uh, I think it's the foundation of any cosmology, any mythology or, or studies in the occult we make. Uh, this is the foundation that we need to know, foundations. And uh, this is the four ways of being, is the four facets of consciousness, is the uh, the the meaning of the word elements <clears throat> elements is uh, is uh, f principal rudiment uh, step component part of ourselves of uh, uh, we see also in the pyramid we have the foundation the four right we have the four three and one united in the, in the middle. So everything we see in this world is the combination of these elements and building blocks. Also, the number four is the is the number of the structure and the foundations, right? So uh, we can see that all this combi combined by by these elements and this in different proportions in our world. We see. So. Uh, this also connected to the four states of matter that in the modern science we see the solid liquid gas plasma we see it the the modern science arrived to later on from the original teachings you know uh, we can speak about some numerology uh, about numbers and uh, how uh, is arrived to, to the quaternity of the consciousness before before it was zero the womb of creation and then it became one the, the monad okay uh, this is all came from the pure source of energy of creation this is gap in some cosmologies we have the zero the one the monad and the monad need to look at itself right is the like the mirror is like the magician card in tarot we have the one the one is the monad, but uh, the next card is the two, is the high priestess, right? The, the look in the mirror of yourself. Uh, you need to understand that you have darker side within. So it's also the masculine and feminine. When we have the th triplicities, we have the number three that uh, came from the combination of the masculine and feminine parts. And uh, after we have the quaternity, the levels of this, all levels of maturity of consciousness. Also, we see it in the uh, Egyptian cosmologies, in the papyrus, uh, all these arts they have. We can see this uh, depicted there very beautifully. 
Um, and we have even the fifth element, that is the Pharaon itself, sit on the cube. The cube is four, and the Pharaon is the fifth element, is the individual. Is also when we create the circle, the magical circle, circle around us, we have the four, uh, the four cardinal directions, and we have the middle, that this is the temple, this is the individual, this is the moment. And uh, all this we can, uh, we can, uh, we can learn that from that element. And this is extremely important because this is all aspects of our lives in other stuff. Yeah, yeah, well said, brother. And uh, I failed to mention, you know, <laughs> we did have you on a wonderful chat on this on the divide. And yeah, that's cool. And uh, you're trying to get your new website up, but uh, you know, you recently put out a book as well. Yeah. And I'm sure you probably yeah. mentioned. Uh, I mentioned there also the elements, and um, you know. I introduce people to um, different esoteric uh, esoteric studies that I study by myself, and I want to share it, and I combine it together. I am also working with astrology, tarot, and runes uh, combined together. That uh, I see it's a very very beautiful combination, and. Um, I'm sure people can find values in that things and they can use this uh, divination, they can use this uh, knowledge for themselves to be the best version of themselves, to know who they are and to stand in the middle, uh, to be connected to the source, universal intelligence. Yeah, and like you said, that made me think, you know, yeah, the four cardinal directions, the four elements, we have to really be in the middle of or you know another way to look at it is like have that balance the equilibrium i guess of it all mm -hmm. yes it's also the masculine and feminine we have two masculine two feminine we, we need to know this before we we study astrology because the astrology and the, the zodiac is all is all based on that elements all based on that uh, principles and all that stuff uh, especially the tarot and uh, uh, we see also the uh, the feel of the five senses of men. We feel uh, the the men have five senses, and the five is the pentagram, and the pentagram is represent the man in that aspect. Uh, that the spirit need to be evolved the four elements to know that you connected to the source, uh, universal uh, energy, and to know how to. Uh, work with these energies and manipulate them in the neither good or bad, whatever. But we see also the cross is interesting stuff that I recently uh, discovered that uh, we have the Rosicrucian cross, the rusty, rusty cross, right? We have the the cross that is without the basic, the base of the cross. We have the four four cardinals, and we have the the four grounded in the in the earth that is uh, in the in some rosicrucian traditions also the tarot of the thought of Aleister Crowley it depicted the fool the hanged man and the justice adjustment uh, uh, excuse me not justice judgment adjustment in this deck this is the four mother cards this is the element of uh, fire, water, and air. That is the three mothers. Also, we see it in many cosmologies, this numbers and it's three women or th triple god or whatever. And this uh, these elements is more, uh, they see it as uh, more high high densities. And the earth is the, is the place we work with these energies. We ground these energies within. Uh, like we, this is, the earth is our school, right? We need to learn, this is the place we learn how to work with matter, with, with, with things that uh, make us progress through challenges, through things that we need to 
to go through these challenges because uh, we learn only from challenges and, and hardships, you know. In any any aspect of life, we, need, we can see it as, a, as we go to the gym, we need to struggling with force. We need to have some, uh, you know, uh, how to say that, uh, uh, some uh, opposing force for you to work with it, you know? Yeah, like some kind of um, resistance or something. Resistance, like exactly. So uh, yeah. you need to have resistance in uh, in order to learn and grow yourself in mentally, spiritually, physically, and all the aspects. And this this element is all these aspects. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. And uh, yeah, like <laughs> made me think of something. You know, with you know. What is the matter with people that, you know, hold on to their pain so much and they're not able to, like, grow out of it? They're, like, stuck in that victim mentality a little bit. And the matter or mayat or yeah, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, they're not living their life as light as a feather. Like, we're all going to make mistakes and we're all going to have accidents and have some kind of sufferance of pain and that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, that's just how it is in this realm in 3D, yeah. right? So uh, yeah. to work with the, these elements and uh, and also the archetypes of them, which you mentioned through the tarot and stuff, yes. yeah, it's really important. You yes. feel like so many layers of how we can navigate this reality and better ourselves and avoid uh, further suffering possibly for ourselves and others, right? So, <laughs> yes, yes. We see the example in the tarot and the minor arcana is more focused on the details of these four elements and uh, we see the swords example uh, the, the 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 deck of the swords the group of the swords is more mental and we see it's challenging okay we see the cards is challenging it's, it's a present challenge uh, pain uh, suffering but it's because of the mind everything stands from the mind uh, you can create the, the, your own suffering through the mind, how you think and how you, you know, your psyche. This is the study of the psyche. This is the study of the... Um, this also can be, uh, if we see the, the cards of the royals, we have 16 cards. And uh, interesting that uh, universe of, of, University of... Um, not remember what university... Uh, Stanford, I think they they came with sixteen types of pers uh, sixteen types of uh, personalities, okay, that exist in man any man and woman. <laughs> so it's kind of persona that we show to others. It depends on what group you you interact with, and you change your persona in terms of that, how you appear to these people. And uh, this dynamic does not mean you stay in the same personality, but you have the temperament. You have the uh, this is, you have layers for that. Under this, you hide something within your true self, what you are. And uh, uh, this also, if we see sixteen, is is four and four, and the sixteen is also interesting. And uh, we see how these elements combine with each other in terms so uh yeah so this is uh, also about the tarot we can learn a lot with this yeah definitely and uh i guess for folks listening the wands you know correlates with the, the element of fire swords as you mentioned with the air i mean you mentioned this in your series and just you know yes, yes, yes. Earth and water obviously with the cups you know fill it up right <laughs> <laughs> yes, we see the, the swords. The swords is more a warrior aspect. We see the challenges and hardships, and uh, you know, represent uh, the, the 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 cutting edge. You know, to cut your belief systems that not serve you, the cut the things not 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 serve yourself and then your the greater good. And this just put the sword mentally within your old self in order to reborn again. Like the Ten of Swords is, is represent the death, right? The death of your old self in order to reborn someone better than you was before. This totally, is man. Point. Ooh. Yeah. 
Um, I'll let you finish your point, but yeah, I'd love for you to, cause you know, it's not to confirm, you know, my latest project. Um, I kind of like to fuse certain concepts together, alchemy and just like the elements, but, uh, do you have any thoughts on, in, uh, correlations kind of like what you just mentioned of, yeah, the whole alchemical process of, you know, burning up those falsities and false, you know, ego identifications, uh, to you know be reborn again i guess if you will and be yes. that better person that golden consciousness anything else yeah. in regards to the elements with the alchemy and yeah obviously with the tarot it applies as well like all these things it's quite a beautiful yes. thing but yeah yes simply we, we can uh, we can learn about nature also also through the elements like element of air example we have the space between this empty space but this move stuff Okay, this is uh, have movements. Um, is, uh, is is just say that uh, if if the things we not see is not mean is not exist. Okay, so yeah, um, we have um, uh, we have uh, we can make a fireplace and we can change. We, we, also, I have uh, Aristotle sp speak about that uh, philosophy. Uh, he have the, those that uh, uh, earth and water tend to fall, and those air and fire to, tend to rise. And we have the hot, dry, wet, cold. That this is the principle of polarity. That we can also uh, transform the elements one to another from changing those qualities as temperatures. It's the most simple way. And we do it on daily basis, but we not we not tend to focus deeply on that philosophically and spiritually. And people just do it without they're not conscious how much it's deep can, can be. Is magic, okay? So uh, people make magic daily, but they don't know they they do magic. So yeah, yeah, I feel you. And uh, you know, these things are coming more into my mind, and almost like in a distractive way, uh, like I'm cooking at this job I'm at and I already have like a bunch of like clocks in the, in my mind of like how, you know, how long things are going to cook for and this and that. And depending on, you know, the temperature of the, the stove and all these things. And yeah, it's like really recognizing the, the polarities and the, in the degrees of temperature rising or falling, yeah. you don't want to get the food too cold after it's already cooked and all this stuff. So, yeah, and like just being in tune with you know that flow of energy and, and transference and and all all these things it's really interesting to apply it just to like yeah. daily stuff right as you mentioned daily stuff and it looks simple but it's uh, really really um, you can learn a lot from that and, and people don't understand how much can be this can be deep that it's connected to to anything in around us as within so without right yeah yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> speaking of which uh geez yeah so uh i had i was trying to correlate maybe it's too far of a reach but yeah obviously with the the elements and what they symbolically represent in regards to us you know like air is intellect uh earth is material physical fire is passion creativity water is uh, emotion and uh in regards to like the the mind body spirit and even like the soul if you will i was thinking mm -hmm. like air uh, correlates to mind earth body obviously fire spirit or will force if we will and then water yes. kind of being the soul i guess yes um and that could be interchanged i don't know with the soul and spirit you know it's just something i threw out there it made sense to me but uh Yes, some people call it ether, um, the fifth element, but the fire element is, is also can be um, from upper plane to the lower plane, you know, the fire, the water, the air and earth. Earth is the, the last one, is the highest densities, is the, is the practical world, right? Uh, the fire is the ignition, the willpower, the drive force, the action is actually cause the change, right? The fire. 
the initiation alone is not enough. Uh, in, excuse me, the intention of it is not enough. You need to have action. You need to be active. You need to do something. This is the fire. This need action. Uh, the fire is ascending, is going upward, as the alchemical symbol of so the triangle is represent the flame go upward. And the water is all the time go flows from the higher places to, to lower places. We can resolve that anywhere. And the water is the reflection, the emotions that simply can be absorbed as we calm our, our mind and the emotions uh, during self-observation, right? Uh, or meditation, for example, uh, we can we can see it as a water. If we're not calm, we're not present, we cannot see the down, uh, down surface, what happened in the water, the objects, the things. Uh, we see it only when the water is calm and clean, right? Uh, so we can uh, struggle with it to be clear mind, to have clarity, mental clarity, emotion, memories, also is connected to memories. Interesting, in the Hebrew word, mind is, is water. So it came from Mimir, also in the, in the Nordic cosmology, we have Mimir, right, it represents water. Oh, cool. Man. And the water is the memories, the storage of things, the storage of memories, ancestral memories of our blood codes and stuff like that. Uh, we have the air that is the simply uh, empty space, as we say, in between. This is the cutting edge. And this is the balance between the fire and water, in, according to some traditions like Rosicrucian and all that stuff. Uh, the words, uh, the words is represent the word, the word, the divine word, the logos. Okay, this is powerful and penetrate, and we can see it as in tarot. We can see it in the three of swords. Of them. How much heart can be the word? The, the words can stuck like in the heart if we if we use it not correctly. And uh, this is uh, powerful because it penetrate the air. Our world is penetrated, the air is the vibrations, okay? And uh, we can slay each other through the worlds and hold each other through deep levels, in the deep levels each other, through only to, to, to say something to each other, okay? We have this. Uh, element of air is also empty field that is transparent and all energy, frequency and vibration of all the worlds has, are expressed in this field. And uh, this also can represent the invisible forces of nature that are greater from us. Okay, we have the winds, we have tornadoes, we have things what we cannot control. We cannot uh, say, "Hey, stop, stop, please, uh, hurt us." Is anyways go through it? Uh, go is great. Uh, this represents greater forces than us because the the nature forces can be greater. Sometimes we have weather's. Uh, difficulties and uh, rains and storms. Uh, also, in terms of the runes, the Hagalas rune is represented. Is represent the, the forces of nature that we cannot control, and this gives us challenges in order to learn and grow from it. To understand, we need to build a shelter for us, that in order to be protected from the storms or whatever, and we need to heal ourselves. With through the practical way. Uh, and this this just said that the laws of nature is exist and uh, even you cannot see them. Okay, is they invisible, but they, they, you can, some of them visible, but some of them invisible. And uh, we cannot deny it and say, hey, it's not exist. Because it's give, it's give, it's give the effect we see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay? like the way I try to... Yeah. Uh, respond to people, like, well hey man prove it you know i can't see it even like god or whatever the omnipresent energies of or whatever all these hidden natural laws of the universe the cosmos all this stuff well are we able to see our thoughts they exist right but you know we can't really see them we can yeah, exactly. think them up and yeah, right? exactly. 
S words, yes. man. Yeah. <laughs> yes. How's that? We can we can just uh, we can just think about house or tree or whatever, and uh, it's just appearing in the mind. It's not to be, need to be tangible, and no need to be material. Okay. Uh, the, this is an interesting point, <laughs> and. Uh, and the last one, we have the earth element. This is resources and body connection, health, matter. Um, um, you know, keep your body healthy, be practical, uh, be stable, be grounded, you know. Um, yeah, so as we say, it's an interesting point that in, the, in the, we have the the, the three the three letters in the tarot we have uh, the aleph mem shin uh, this is uh, hebrew letters that the first one is the fool the hangman and the ju judgment okay this is interesting combination if you just meditate on these three cards and uh, in hebrew it means amish is yesterday or mother fire <laughs> m is his mother and shin is uh, the, the letter of the fire actually it looks like fire if you, if you see that um, so it means that the fool is need to in order need to be sacrificed in, in in order to go up from the grave of the judgment to rise above and listen to the higher self and be connected and bring it to the earth bring all this to the air here and now and not go and run away somewhere and you know in other dimensions whatever people believe you cannot run away you just need to learn it here and now and here is the best school and we have the beauty of the earth we, we you just 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 with the beauty you know have some beauty in the uh, in this world that you need to protect and worth to protect it. even if a lot of shit is going on in our lives and uh, uh, in our society in, uh, you know all the world is fucked up but still have beauties left here there that you need to you need to do something to protect it but this is also the divine feminine the mother aspect the the, the great mother also the earth Mater, Ma'at, as you say, also connected to that, yeah. Yeah, I like that, brother. Thank you. Um, taking it back to the air, though, I, I liked how you mentioned, <clears throat> first of all, like, the water and having the clear emotions so you can really see properly, and especially the reflection that you're looking into of yourself. Yeah. And uh, with that air element, you know, sometimes, you know, got too much thoughts going on and stuff in it. So it creates, you know, all types of wind. Waves. What does wind to do to the calm water, right? It's going to cause yeah, waves, waves yeah. right? Yeah. So I thought that was really yes, definitely. It's also interesting that water is like mirror. If the nature of water is like mirror, you, look, you can look at yourself. You can see the first man look at itself in the water before they create the mirror. So that it's reflective of your, yourself. You say, you say, okay, I'm not one. I have another one. Okay, <laughs> within me that I need to, to look at myself. Okay. Ooh, this are you is, alluding to shadow work? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, this buddy. is the this is the number two in the tarot. This is the gate of the high priestess that you need to look at yourself. This is also ruled by the moon. Okay, this card. The moon is the, the water element. And uh, yeah, so you cannot say, oh, okay, I'm perfect. I can do anything. I don't need to work on nothing. I just fine as I am, you know, but it's not enough. You cannot go forward without look at yourself in deeper levels and look on your things that you not like to see, you not like to confront. Because the last thing people will do is to look on themselves. This is what I notice. <laughs> okay, most of the people, they just, this is the most big, fear in the world, just to look on themselves in the mirror, just sit down, maybe half hour alone without phone, without distractions, without nothing, just to think why I think like this, why I feel like that, you know, ask yourself questions, uh, where I can get better, why I'm in the situation, 
why really what i really need to do instead of just externalize your your suffering to others and just blame others all the time because others other you have the relationship with this is your reflection okay this is a reflection of yourself they came for a reason and they they respond for a reason that you can do the the the, the change you can do the the different choice this time and not repeating the same things the same suffering just you know take a step forward and just to, to know that you uh, you can do something with that but uh, sometimes it's painful sometimes you need to look on your 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 wounds uh, painful stuff that you don't want to look but there is the gift right yeah, totally. And that's kind of like the prima materia that we can work with uh, to alchemize those things as well. Doing yeah. that work. Oh, man, you made me think of something really. In oh, yeah. So deep, right? <laughs> when we those waters are, you know, clear, uh, as you mentioned, they can be transparent and we could see beyond the surface level and uh, like taking this concept beyond the surface level, which you already did, but let's investigate like a little further in regards to um, how other people can be a reflection of ourselves. Um, I think people kind of get hung up on that because they don't understand that there's a lot of dynamics at play and it's not always 100% mirror reflection, these other people, it could just be a small degree. And even like uh, things of one's subconscious or unconscious that they haven't really brought to the surface and are really cognizant of, they don't see that aspect of themselves in the other people. And they might not understand like the toxicity that they have within themselves. And so that's why they have certain toxic people around them, I guess, if you will, sometimes. So mm -hmm. yeah. I guess the healing yeah. starts from within and all that stuff. And then yeah. if you got to purge from the exterior afterwards, whatever, right, to not have that influence anymore, sometimes that frequency shift kind of naturally repels or whatever um those you know old you know versions of yourself and associates of that i guess right mm -hmm. yeah we uh, because of that we need to uh, cleanse ourselves daily basis to mentally and spiritually uh, like if you do it physically you, know, you shower yourself you clean yourself the same you need to do with, with your psyche uh, because of that we have the Four cardinals, the, the axis mundi, that you you create the circle of the magi, right? You remove all the toxic energies from you. You uh, need to clean the space every day because we interact with people around us, and uh, yes, our field is affected by it. These forces try to interrupt us, but okay, you can protect yourself, you can ground yourself in, and you know just repeat the response you do the cleansing you do the healing you say hey this relationship is no it's not serving me it's not, not not doing nothing it's just make me toxic my life so for what for what you need this relationships you know, you, some some relationships you need to cut off from you unfortunately you know uh, yes we need to consider that the things that uh, and i find it helpful for, helpful for you because if i don't do this daily rituals for me i start to respond i start to feel something wrong in the air something you know came and interrupt me and i feel it and i understand this exists and you need to understand you have the power you have the power to say no you're not going inside from my to my field and uh, and you came with new energy you came with more create with you make space for a new creative energy in your life right so uh yeah so um yeah if, uh, this is one of the things i want to speak about also yeah please no okay if you want to ask something else. oh yeah just maybe think of um <laughs> like having that you know activated intuition like really being in tune with the elements within yourself you know the attributes and uh symbology or symbolism of those you know archetypes of consciousness and energies 
that that we all have right uh i feel like that really helps us be more in tune with our soul essence in that i imagination the really true imagination and the the intuition so you're able to sense these things you, you sense like your emotions are off right the water element is little something's going on over, over there or you just like can pick up on things and correlate them with whatever and being able to yeah navigate and kind of catch things before they happen in, in a negative sense or ride the positive waves and you know in it for the win-win with you know others that you're interacting with or whatever right mm -hmm. and uh, i call the you know a lot of people they're uh, suffering from the emotion you know all the disease i believe appear because of the emotions uh, this is in the relationship this is in your body this is everywhere because people deny their emotions okay this is a huge problem in our world right now and you know to understand that the emotions is not our enemy is what is need to you need to just know how to work with them and this is intuition i see the the right management with your emotions is the intuition is to listen to your emotions but not uh, act by based on the emotional response but look on the emotions and take the right decision right direction based on it. um and yes is is uh, also affect our relationships it's also affect anything in our life uh, emotions is very powerful is energy and motion right is the is the driving force within any thought have emotion you know uh, have things that we stuck in the past uh, thinking about that and have emotion attached to it usually okay so it's work one and one together this would mm. interesting yeah it's like it's that inside job and uh for folks to really you know pull themselves away like you know i just pulled up the hermit card right of being able to have some solitude so there's not all these outside influences exactly that, yeah. you know disrupt our thought process and i feel like you know with the masculine you know misaligned and you know not balanced with the the feminine aspect and like having proper reflections of both sides and the moon is reflecting light off of the sun. So there's that dynamic to consider as well. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, for men to get their thoughts in order to, you know, properly manage their emotions, their energy in motion, emotions, right? So mm -hmm. they can properly wield their magic uh, to the benefit of themselves and others, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If we speak about the hermit card, is the is the solitude. That's what I like. The the all the major arcana is the is the hero's journey, right? You you arrive to the point that you need to be solid uh, solitude. You need to be in solitude. You need to be alone sometime with yourself and deal with your yourself. Deal with your your shadows and find the light within these caves, deeper caves in your soul. This is all the point in terms of also the, the rune inkwas is also representing this masculine fertility and and the diamond right this uh, the seed of fire within uh yeah so it's also force is like a square it's interesting it's four like four elements um yeah so this is also analysis is to see the facts the, 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 the make the studies um you know it's also connected to virgo virgo is the the, the earth element and uh, this is about analysis and healing self-healing <clears throat> um and find a way even have you know have things that you can fail or something like that but you need to go up and up in the in the mountain and the hermit, by the way, is the in the mountain, right? Basically. Yeah, good call. And uh, yeah, put this, I totally forgot to mention, but um, the backdrop uh, with the mountain and the moons up top, I uh, also, you know, brought that up because what you mentioned, you know, five or 10 minutes prior of, uh, of how like, these things are cyclical, right? And we have to go through these processes over and over and over again. And even if we reach yeah. the mountaintops, of this one 
a level of ourselves and this and that there's you know there's going to be more along the journey type of thing so it's yes. a marathon it's not uh exactly it's not, a race, it's not a competition and just realizing that on deeper levels is quite humbling and it can be comforting if you're able to you know really feel into this path work and understand and have compassion for yourself and others <clears throat> on this journey right <laughs> yeah yeah sometimes it's hard but you know you can to find some compassion unfortunately this is the situation <laughs> and uh, as you said the moon is the reflection of the, of the sun is the mind is the collective the mindset of mankind as we see it and uh, because of that the position of the sun and the moon is very important in astrology especially the moon also because people forget where their mind and emotion are, right? So it's the, the, the reflection of, this, of, the, of the light, of the sun, this is the soul. And we see the distortions also. Uh, and the, the tilt of the air is also, all, all reflect our, our, our condition, the human condition in this time. We get far away from the far away from the source and what we're supposed to become, you know, and just, uh, you know, mankind can be very, very powerful, but we, we unfortunately don't even go to this direction, and especially in this time, I think, yeah, maybe the time, maybe the time this is will really change, but, you know, this is, uh, this is difficult. Yeah. yeah, and it, you know, there's a lot of dark forces that have really done uh, too good of work to, you know, keep the um, the pentagram or the pentacle of the quintessential human being, you know, inverted. So that's why a lot of people yeah. have, you know, ass backwards thinking or thinking below the belts and just operating from their lower senses and all that crap, mm -hmm. unfortunately, right? But uh, you mentioned, yes. yeah, if you want to speak anything on that, um, I really wanted to, you know, get into astrology a little bit and how we can apply the elements to the signs yeah. and all that, because I think like this is really powerful. Um, it's really helped me a lot understanding my, me you too. know, templating. Yes. And all. It's def definitely, I have passion for that science and art. And for me, it's also helped me a lot. And uh, you know, to to see my template and uh, to see what what energies I need to focus on in my life, what where I need to work more, and this is also connected to the elements. What elements I need to work more? Example, you need to work more in uh, with fire magic or uh, earth magic or whatever. It depends on your ascendant and moon, sun, and other planets, of course. Uh, but it's amazing. It's amazing how it can change your life if you really use it in, in proper way. And you sometimes I'm in shock how much is so so precise. You know, it's creepy. It's also precise. I mean, it's also precise. But in in other, it's also amazing to see that you know the reflection as above so below. And to not to understand that we still have the free will to change. Even the stars say something, but this is all reflection of ourselves. It means we go against the pendulum or with the pendulum swing, and depends where it goes. And we need to just to keep the momentum and know where to keep the things and do the things better for us. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this is a psychic weather, as you can call it. And uh, we can see it also in the collective uh, matters or whatever. But uh, for me personally, it's, uh, it's really helped me. Really helped me. And especially when I combine this with tarot and, and runes and all this together. Of course, have uh, and other things that you can combine. You can create your own system. This is what good is developed with us. We can develop new systems of divination, of arts that can help others in the future, you know. And it's all developed with us, like the tarot. The tarot also, with the times, is, is the art has changed. The, you know, uh, some things you can change. Of course, the the basic structure is rigid, but 
you can change the art inside, you can change this, that, and combine that and this together, and, and it's become something amazing that can help others, other people, other individuals who want to, to go and heal themselves and, and to use this for, for the, her benefits. Instead of someone else use it for the, his, his benefit to against you. And this is what they do. The enemies of humanity, whatever you call it. Yeah, unfortunately, brother. Yeah. So it's give it's give us as a, as, a, as, a, as a we can use it as a tool, as a weapon also for us to to upgrade us instead of just someone use it against us all the time. Yeah, it's a and that's that double-edged sword, uh, masculine, feminine as well, of uh, being able to you know properly defend ourselves and catch all the you know manipulation against us and wield that our magic, you know, for, you know, positive means and stuff, I guess, I guess, but you know. yes. <laughs> yeah, yes, we all have, we all have unique magic. We are uh, unique individuals and any one of us. And uh, this is what amazing it was the same. So what the point, you know, this is what they want to create everyone the same because of that they have uniforms. Because of that, they have one school, that everyone dressed the same, kids dressed the same. They want to delete the individuality. They want to delete the, your own individual self, individuation process, because this is the initiation in the life sometimes. We need to individualize ourselves. We need to have this individuation. This is the habit. Okay, we need to be alone sometimes, aside from the society, and to just deal with our shit as individuals. And after we're dealing with our shit, simultaneously we go up, we go out to speak with others and to try to wake up others. So of course, if someone wants or not, it depends on him. Uh, but you can help those who want, who have the potential. And uh, all this you do simultaneously, but you some you need this individuation. This is very important. This is also appear in the tarot. You know, this is part of, of their life's journey of maturity of consciousness. Till you arrive to the completion of the, the world, and the world is also the zero, and all this back again to the next level, to the next level, till you, you know, no end story, you just continue to grow yourself, you know, continuously. You just We cannot know anything in this universe, we all the time learn something new. And this, uh, this uh, ta uh, arts, we can learn lifetimes and we're not learning anything, uh, all the things inside. All the time have things more to learn, right? 100%, man, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, this is what I mean. Yeah. This... Just like all the combinations and like looking at your one's chart and stuff and like seeing like, okay, like I have predominant elements going on over here and this and that. And yeah, understanding like the the main like five uh, placements in, in one's chart with the sun, moon, ascendant, north and south node, right? Really helps us yeah. understand like those primary uh, signs and the elements uh, attributed to them. Like in those five, I have nothing but fire and air. So like having to, you know, find temperance uh, with that over the years even unknowingly of these things you know it, it took a long time and all that stuff with other placements kind of you know making things not as easy whatever but uh yeah it's like so i have fire and air what's up with the the water and the in the earth you know i guess you know sometimes i could find myself not so easily grounded right and like mm -hmm. sometimes emotionally flustered more easier than yeah. sh should have been possibly i ain't gonna go into the should have could have would have right but uh you know what i mean in a sense mm -hmm. you know it's like reflections yes, looking yes. back in certain things that, through that uh scope you know and this helps out with shadow work of you know being at this level of understanding and understanding and then looking back at your you know past selves and this and that and you're able to you know, do proper shadow work and corrections and just cut off those ties of you know not the best behaviors and attitudes and all these things right that can uh be stuck 
you know, residually into our psyche, if you will, right? Hope that makes sense. Yes, yes. Yes, it makes sense for me, of course, because me also predominant fire and air, especially, and fire also. And uh, yes, sometimes I'm not grounded. Uh, my thoughts is very fast, okay? Example, if you have some Gemini in your chart, uh, strong, so this, this can impact that. Uh, I mean, your, your, your thoughts is very fast, uh, your mind works very fast. Sometimes you cannot find this balance point uh, to just ground yourself down and uh, yes some of us need to work more with the emotions so most more but all this need to be you know in balance together we with different species we, i mean the same species but different different uh, you know different people with different individuals with different templates and uh, some some people maybe will need to work more with uh, element of fire or uh, with uh, water magic or with earth magic, be more uh, be more practical in their terms or uh, more focus on the healing, the body healing. Um, yes, this is what uh, this is what's interesting, and, and the transits is, can help us to navigate that stuff to know what is your transit house, where is your uh, where is your moon now transit or something like that. Or, uh, so you can more, it, when you know you have the choice, you have, you, you, you think differently. You have the choice now to make a different choice, not program yourself unconsciously to do this, the same choice again. Okay, no, you, know, you know example now, no, okay, now I have this transit, so this good time for me to start to heal that one or the, uh, this uh, work with this aspect in my life this is the perfect time that i can harvest this in the future you know and uh, yeah so uh, me also i know that because uh, with, uh, with a lot of air magic is a lot of uh, work with uh, also communication right uh, sometimes we need to be more clear with the communication and words we use to think the words we use before we use them uh, to think good before we use the words because the words are so, so powerful we know that and the mind how we think how we analyze things and other stuff and how we can combine it example with fire how we can start something new start new projects how we can find this true will within us and make this change. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah so, yeah. Sorry, you're gonna say, I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't have anything to say, I just liked what you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, is it true? This is amazing. You you can also combine the tarot with this. You can also the tarot is the dimension. This I see the tarot is the um, psychic exam. Okay, this just reflect your your current situation of your consciousness. What is you see now? What forces archetypes go through your life right now that you need to address them or. Uh, to know the existence and you can change that you have the will the free will to change and even the, the shitty situation that you your past past uh, choices which you make now you can change now you can change the cycle you can break the cycle to not repeat the same issue the same problem again and again and this just give you the awareness this is give you the awareness for the problem for the issue because of that Sometimes people are afraid to play with the cards. They, they think, okay, now appear the tower or the death or whatever, and now uh, the, the thing's fucked up. They cannot change nothing. No, you can change. You have the free, free will choice to change from now. Your destiny, right? In terms of the three norms we know, that past, present, and future, that we create everything simultaneously from the present moment. Because of that is so important to be present, to know how to be present, to train your mind to be present. 
especially for air magicians, it's very hard, right? To uh, shut down the, the mind and say, hey, quiet the mind, that's down, just to, to be empty in the mind, okay? Not think about nothing, just receive what you speak. What, what you think, uh, but not stuck on the thoughts, you know, not repeat them in your mind and say, hey, I'm like this, I'm like that, I'm not deserve this, I'm not, I'm not deserve that. It's not true. We have much more infinite value what we even imagine. Right? Yeah, that reminds me, I've all three of the, you know, air elements in, in, in front of my chart. And uh, I've noticed it was hard for me to learn and really get to like a calm state, like some kind of meditative state where there's really no thoughts, you know, like it just took so yeah, long yeah, time to that, get uh, to that yeah. point, you know? <laughs> this, yes, that to be trained, trained. It's like go to the gym, you train your mind, you just sit down every day, just, okay, let's do it again and again and again, you know? Yeah, I, I know this issue because me also have very, very strong, you can study, I can enter to, to things, I can study them till the end, or I have a very, very curious mind, okay? Uh, maybe because of the Gemini stuff, but this also can be extremely in other direction. You can need to find the, the, the balance in between. And uh, to know, to know the balance, to balance your mind, your thoughts, is very important. And simultaneously, of course, with your emotions, to be to use your emotions for better, to know that this emotion is for a reason, and to understand why, where is this emotion is rooted from, where, right? Uh, it can be from past lives, it can be from ancestral traumas or whatever, or but you can heal it if you really want. You can, you have the power. Everyone have the power or the, if they have the will. To do it only okay if not have the will so you cannot do nothing this is the will totally. who drive the force fire water what <laughs> fire water and you know <laughs> air, air, air and the spirit oh yeah the... oh i was curious as to what your take on like the Chinese five elements because they you know recognize metal and wood in their uh, their wheel oh yeah I'm, I'm not so in, I'm not so into to the Chinese cosmologies but uh, yes I hear that they have some different names for that but basically they they're the same if we can see it the same principles uh, but uh, with different some names or something like that. For, yeah, no, I my personal I'm not investigator, but I want to also to study that part of the uh, of the of the studies of the esoteric studies. Yeah, yeah, because it it adds just like a little extra element right or two of um, how we can analyze ourselves. And yeah, you mentioned with the emotion and, and pain sometimes of how. Sometimes, like all these traumas, the issues are in the tissues, and they manifest to actual disease within or on the body, yes. right? So, yeah. yeah. No, because I, I see it also in this as a fact that people believe in something. They create in their mind they're sick. Okay, my father was uh, this, so I will have that. In the end, they create it by the mind. The mind is so powerful that is. He can create a disease by himself. <laughs> this is what I'm well, on a flip, like uh, yeah. heal it with the placebo effect. It's funny they you know, so focus on that. So think what this can be the opposite right, way. Yeah. How the opposite way can be. Voila. Right? This can be so powerful in the opposite way also. Not only create for yourself disease and suffering all the time. <laughs> because, you know, everything from the mind. The universe is mental, right? So. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, have you seen <clears throat> these elements uh, in regards to the hermetic principles, speaking of mentalism and all that? Hermetic principles? What do you mean? What do you mean uh, Just by that? <clears throat> any attributes of the 
psyche part of the elements uh, in regards to hermetic principle. Oh. I don't know if that ever, you know, was a thought you had, you had or not. If not, no worries, you know. I didn't even, it just came to mind. No. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, you, you, tr you try to say, uh, like, uh, the principles in uh, correlation to the elements? Yeah, in a sense, or, like... Uh, planets or something like that? I guess the seven hermetic principles, the, the base foundation, right? Mentalism, we could say air. Yes. Correspondence, possibly yes, um, yes. we could think of earth, you know, with the tree representative or I was thinking also with the water, kind of like how it has that reflection as above, so below. In a sense. Correspond correspondence, I see it as a water mm. reflection. Yeah. You know? And mental is, yes. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. I never think about that, honestly. Just throwing but, it out uh, there yeah. for folks to <laughs> ponder on their own also. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for me to think about later, that's interesting. <laughs> yes, also the number seven, the seven, you know, seven is a very important number in the occult. And it's connected to the planets. Uh, yeah, I take a look on that also. Isn't yeah, it? cheers. And yeah. as far as like other <clears throat> elements or, you know, things that have been studied or seen, you know, there's, we mentioned the ether, or plasma. There's also electricity, gravity, space, the morphogenic field of consciousness, you know, the densities, just like light, sound, vibration, frequency, energy, like even time. I'm kind of curious, mm -hmm. <clears throat> how do those yeah. fit <clears throat> into the four elements or those just like uh, separate, you know, dynamic on, on their own to in each respect? Even the senses is connected to the you can correlate to the elements like a uh, human experience in these five senses where it's also interesting that this is a uh, faculties was assist the person the experience in understanding the world around them right and they frame our experience on the world in the way that our brains can inter interpret our surroundings and uh, make sense of all that experience these five senses, along with the reasoning of our mind, help us to receive data and produce feedback okay, uh, to our surroundings. And this is kind of bridge between the known of the material world and the known known. This is kind of interesting stuff also. Yeah. So how do, <clears throat> how do we bridge that gap and like get to that sixth sense to really, you know, feel into the that unknown, unseen realm, I guess, if you will. Or tap into you know like. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah usually with the pentagram is represent the five yeah. right this is the star this is an individual this the the microcosm and we have the six is the macrocosm that uh, we need to understand that we we part of something we are reflection of something we part of the universe we have uh, sovereign existence here and uh, we see also the stars in astrology is, is, uh, is ourselves but it's reflection because a lot of people think in uh, western astrology uh, astrologers that the, what the stars say is impact us that is not true everything is, is go down to our to our will okay it's, uh, so uh, yeah, uh, definitely is interesting how it's connected to the to the hermetic principles. I mean, this together also. Yeah, something for a future episode, I suppose. <laughs> we'll <see. laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, seems like we're kind of winding down. Uh, did you have any other thoughts, ideas, uh, information that you wanted to share? with us today <laughs> um, information of course about my my channel you can go to uh, the YouTube channel I have uh, I, I speak also in Hebrew and language in English I have some interviews in English and Hebrew and other stuff uh, I also have new channel of uh, only for divination arts uh, also, only focus on astrology, tarot, and runes. Uh, sometimes I make readings there. 
so you can uh, join and see. Um, this is also something I develop. Um, and uh, my book, The Hero's Journey, Initiation to a Life Purpose, you can purchase on Amazon. And this book also can help you to, to, to start your journey of the initiation in your life. And I give little, little from any, any, any science and art that can assist you in the future. And of course, you can go deeper inside this, uh, these topics and investigate by yourself. And uh, it will give you a lot of benefits. If you really apply it in your life, I will make it uh, practical that people can practice that. Some meditations, some uh, rituals of uh, protection, uh, protect your field, your, uh, your auras, uh, how, uh, how you protect yourself psychic, from psychic attacks or something like that. You know, uh, well, uh, as we speak with you, a lot of relationships we have through them have psychic attacks also. Also, it can be not from this individual specifically, but they operate through them and they want to arrive to you. So you just, you shower yourself energetically every day just to remove it from you and to be your best version of yourself, to forge your, your true dreams and desires in life, your true soul desires, what your soul want to do, how to want to express and not how you believe you want you know, to want to be or whatever, you know? So, uh, yeah, um, if you want to, to see my, my videos, my content, also I have in Facebook and ODSC. Also, I work on the website uh, right now. So in the future time, I will have website and also a link tree, as you say, uh, I open for myself also soon. Yeah, buddy. That people can reach my my stuff very fast, and will be uh, everything concentrated in one uh, one one place is good. So stay tuned. Fuck yeah, Stephen. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate this conversation. And yeah, folks need to check out if you want to just like learn more about each element in a nice, you know, easy way. They're like a twenty to thirty minutes each element, four part series. I really highly recommend that. As, uh, Actually, I want to make another mm -hmm. part. I not make it anymore, so stay tuned for that also. I just make presentations, take me some time because of my personal stuff around uh, lately, so it's delayed. So it's also will be in the future. Uh, I will speak some about uh, numerology and astrology and uh, how it's all connected. I will speak today, but more in details and more in, uh, in presentation style. Yeah. Awesome, brother. Looking forward to that. Yeah, and I like your presentation style. Yeah. It's uh, quite informative and uh, more easier to learn. You know, especially from the as simple as possible. Yeah. I try to make it there. Yeah. <laughs> simple as possible, as it is, because the wisdom is to bring the knowledge, but in the others can understand. Very practical, very hard, uh, hardcore knowledge, but very complex. Bring it to the to the simplicity. The all wisdom, right? To bring it to the people that can understand in any level of consciousness. Yeah, that's great. Love the approach, brother. And uh, yeah, Stephen, thank you so much for chatting with us today. And uh, thank you too, man. Thank you I don't really much love and uh, respects. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Peace out there. Thanks for listening. So, you're a philosopher? You can benefit from listening to me I suggest that you take notes to my philosophy I'm putting time into how I design and where I stand On global issues superficial can't understand You can benefit from listening to me I suggest that you take notes to my philosophy I'm putting time into how I design and where I stand On global issues superficial can't understand The way I see it, you gotta be able to better under pressure to keep a level head turn your anger into pleasure remain calm yelling equals lack of self-control in the midst of drama get to know your inner soul because peace of mind and time alone is something i condone gather my thoughts quality time with my microphone learn to be comfortable by yourself deal with conflicts in a way that preserves everybody's health because life is a circle and that karma shit is real what goes around comes around especially when you still you drop